Pisces, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of Pisces, suns, moons, risings, and Venuses. What message do you have? The new moon is in Aquarius tomorrow, you guys. So under the moon energy, what is your message, dear Pisces? What should you focus in on? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What, what do you need them to know? A time for healing. <laughs> a time for healing. Let's get more. I am using the phenomenal <laughs> Miss Cleo's tarot power deck. If y'all know Miss Cleo, shout out, shout out. Drop a heart in the comment section below. I was too excited to get this deck, okay? <clears throat> She might have done it phony, but we're going to do it the real way. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of Dear Pisces. A time for healing. <laughs> I'm talking about Miss Cleo, and then look at her little ad come out. Okay, girl, your spirit's still around. We heard you. Heard you. Sorry, Ma. No disrespect. I'm excited, all right? Dear Pisces, <laughs> Ten of Swords. Woo, time for healing. Hero. Who in the hashtag heck left you feeling this way? We have the King of Rods, could have been an Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Three of Staffs, okay? Somebody's awaiting results. Let me find out the person who broke you, stabbed you, whatever the case, esoterically, energetically, hopefully not <laughs> physically. Um, the person who played you is hashtag wondering when you'll return. I can't, okay? So this is the King of Wands as he looks at you like, she ain't dead, is she? Mm-hmm. He or she ain't dead, are they? Mm-hmm. And then three of wands like, well, hurry up now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to get up now. I'm waiting for you to return now. Really? Do we have a narcissist in the building? Ace of swords. This person wants to speak their truth. This person wants to have another go at you, dear Pisces. Ten of cups. This person hasn't been happy since you left. Mm. Three of swords. Ha! But it's their turn to suffer. I cannot. It's their turn to suffer. And now the three of ho the, the I'm sorry. The three of swords falls where? Right in their heart. Realizing that they done screwed the F up and they can't have you back. Okay? The person who left you like this is now feeling like this all because they realize you're not coming back let's get more thank you holy spirit on behalf of dear pisces before we clarify all of the cards what is this all about Woo. we have sunglasses okay it says Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. This is what I felt like this person was doing. Watching. Well, are they alive still? Are they kicking? Stalking, waiting, you know, three of wands. They're really waiting for you to return. This person is beside themselves because of what? And your second card was separation. Okay, so sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. This person done sabotage their good thing with dear Pisces. And they have, oh, look, look, it was right behind this axe. Woo, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Come on. What do all three of these lovely cards have in common? I mean, come on. Come on, y'all. Somebody's still watching, okay? An ex, an egotistical maniac. Someone's still watching. The person you separated from, the person who gave you the ex, got that ex right back in the form of the three of freaking swords, okay? Could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, if this resonates, all right? Now, listen, y'all. <clears throat> what is the advice here? Holy Spirit, now that we know somebody uh, played themselves to the point and now they're suffering as well. So this time, hold on, honey. So this time of healing extends way past you, boo-boo. It's actually for you and yours, okay? If you are in a relationship at present, this was very big X vibes right here. So somebody still has to heal about a past situation and do know your person is in pain as well. I do hope that um, 
you know, makes you feel a little better. <laughs> okay, Harrow, it's unrequited love up in here. You are gone. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. The person doesn't play themselves. And Spirit is confirming that, look, you're not about this life. They might be. Look at this damsel here. She's looking back at him, like, kiss on her hand, like, boy, please. She's got places to go, places to be. And then we have you deserve love, dear Pisces. It says you are lovable, okay? So you deserve love. Please continue to heal. You do not need anybody uh, from your past, okay? They also are recovering. So guess what? Two broken people, I don't feel like either could fix each other. So this was your warning. Do not go back to anyone, no matter how much it pains them that you're no longer there because you know what you went through, okay? Let's get more their Pisces. Present situation, present energy surrounding their Pisces whether single or in union. What helps or hinders you along the journey? We have the six of pentacles, okay? Generosity here, somebody coming to help out, okay? Give you uh, tokens of their affection, okay? There's been someone likely, could be an earth sign, who has grounded you after a separation with someone else. Someone who is helping you to heal right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Temperance is here. You guys just wait on it. Okay, this is all in divine timing. This help of yours has come right when it's been necessary. If you're in this reading and you feel like you've had no help to heal on your journey, do take this as a good news that the energy is present, okay? So this person could be coming your way, all right? Earth sign, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This person could help you out of a very difficult situation right now. Just wait on it. Sagittarius energy is what helps you. It's temperance here. Could be a good Sagittarius friend as well. Let's go. Unbeknownst to you, dear Pisces, the emperor. We have Aries energy, okay? Unbeknownst to you, you about to be in the best place ever. And it's from this person, okay? Whoever this is, I love this six of pentacles, man. I love him. Whoever he is, let me tell y'all, he or she, okay? Whoever the generous one is in your life right now, hold on to them. They were a gift sent from heaven, okay? Sent from heaven, baby. They're about to put you in a position where you don't want long need anything, okay? Uh, you'll have all that you need. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the recent past, the fool, a new beginning. Okay, you set out thinking, hey, it's just me and my dog, but we we out, you know. I don't need to be in this place anymore. You took your most prized possessions and you and you hit the road, Jack, okay? And you ain't planning to come back no more. And it's great. And I love that for you. Page of swords at the top of your situation, at the top of your mind. You might be tempted to look back at someone from your past, watch them on social media. You might be actively doing so now, might be tempted to reach out, send a message. You know, those are the people looking for closure. When you're in healing, the most scary thing you can do is go back to who hurt you, okay? It's like a codependent situation where you feel like, oh, the person who hurt me is the only one who can heal me. That is false. That is a lie. Okay, so you need to stop looking at these people. Confirmation for somebody. Somebody needs to go ahead and block whomever it is. Stop watching them on social. Okay, it's going to make your healing journey harder. It's going to be harder for you to get past this love and walk into the love that you do deserve. Remember, you don't need anything half wit unrequited. You don't need to be on, 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 on an uneven scale in your relationships. Either you give too much, they gave too much, you gave too little, whatever it is. We need somebody who can even us out, balance us out. And that's what the six does. The six is balance and harmony. And that's what this uh, stable individual coming into your life can help you do. So if you know that you have someone in your corner at present and you still thinking of oh, watching your ex, you need to cut it out now. This is why you're here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for whoever needed this. Okay, cut, stop. We're not, we're not going into your birthday, dear Pisces, in March, end of February. We're not going into your birthday thinking about somebody from 2020. No. Or, or, or years prior to 2020. How many of you guys have been holding on to a, a, a unrequited love um, for so many years? Like, this is your get out of jail free card, okay? I need you to go. Spread your wings and fly, baby, because what? Because you deserve 
love. You deserve it from someone who cares enough for you to give to you without expecting anything in return. Dear Pisces, in the near future. <laughs> Oh, Father, God's love. Mm, sad, disappointed. What's the tea on this? What is going on with y'all? Okay, do y'all love the person who hurt y'all so much? You see? Yes, a lot of you are having trouble. And I understand, babies. I get it. Wow, spirit. It says heartache over what you no longer have. Let me tell you. Here's the thing. You might think, dear Pisces, oh, damn, I missed this person because we used to be so good together. You know what it is? You don't miss the person who hurt you. You miss how ish used to be when it was good, okay? Very little to do with the person, more to do with the experience of love that you shared in that season, in that time. Say it ain't so, because the same way you got your head down for somebody who you no longer have because, Harold, they attacked your ass. Don't forget that. <laughs> don't forget this, <clears throat> okay? You sad because you're not sad because you lost the person who left you like that. You sad because, hey, you used to have a great, fun, loving relationship. And who says that can't be any longer? All right. <clears throat> you can have that. You just need to block this one person so you can pay attention to this other person. Okay. You need to stop watching. You need to stop caring, stop asking about the person, stop, you know, no, we, we, we're saving ourselves for the love that deserves us, that we deserve, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. So check it out. You will continue to be sad if you continue to cry over spilt cups, all right? Now, dear Pisces, how you view yourself? Nine of pentacles, and there you are, independent, single, free, many of you, not all, okay? Even in your relationships, you view yourself as a breadwinner. You have your own, okay? How do others view you? Strength, Leo energy, they see you pushing through. Come on, don't backtrack. Keep persevering, says Holy Spirit. Your hope or your fear, dear Pisces. Ace of Swords, damn, you really want to communicate. A lot of people feel like closure happens when you have to have that one last conversation. Let me tell you, not with a devil, though. You know what I mean? Not with an enemy. Moving towards an enemy, a, a enemy for closure is just a self-sabotaging trap. I've been there. I've been there. My Venus is in Pisces. I know how we love selflessly. Take it from me, y'all. Block that person on everything and, and rescue you. Final outcome. Woo! King of Cups, love. Okay, dear Pisces, there you are. Final outcome. When you completely cut this loser out your life, dear Pisces, this is for somebody in particular, whoever it's for. I do hope you liked this reading. I do hope you clicked subscribe. It's a free way to show love. I do appreciate y'all for being here. How can you speak into the heart and soul of dear Pisces who just needed to know that for once and for all, you need to let go because a new love is waiting for you, baby. Listen, both of these cards I just saw speak to meditation, okay? So that's that's for someone. If you guys need to find your center again, if you guys are truly um, experiencing this time for healing and you're aware of it, go on and begin a meditation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Prayer, aka prayer for others. All right, let's go. Heart and soul. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Always getting two. I want one. Woo, here we go. Ugh. <laughs> all right dear pisces holy spirit says you are focusing purely on the negative but there is also a positive side you are not seeing your mental attitude and thoughts can make things seem good or bad beautiful or ugly all is a matter of perception what you think you shall become so dear pisces be positive for behind the perceived darkness there is much love light and good fortune Harrow, much love, much love is your outcome, all right? So we don't go back to anybody who couldn't give us even half of what we were worth, right? 
because there's much love in your future. Here you are ending as King of Cups. No better ending. Much appreciation from someone who can handle you. Someone who understands you. Okay, it's time to let real love in, says Holy Spirit. Please be positive. For behind the perceived darkness, there is much love, light, and good fortune. Honey, honey, just block the person on everything. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, be blessed. <laughs> Peace.